Welcome to The Tap. I'm here at the ICC for the World Federation of the Deaf. We have two guest speakers for us today who are going to talk about what's been happening here. First up, we have Daniel Haley talking about CODA Conference. Over to you, Daniel. Hi, everyone. I'm Daniel Haley, and I have just returned from the CODA Conference. The CODA Conference was held in South Korea, Seoul. It was my first time attending the CODA Conference, and it was a very interesting and new experience for me. I met many coders from all over the globe. You can see here on my registration badge, there's my name, and there's an image here that looks like a dragon. What that signifies is that it was my first time attending a CODA conference. So fellow coders looked after me and supported me and encouraged me during my time there. It's my first time being in an environment with so many coders, unlike Australia where there are much less coders, but it was great to be in an environment where we had a shared experience of growing up with deaf parents. It gave me an opportunity to have conversations and talk about what my experience was and their experience was, and an opportunity to dip, dig deeper into my own identity as a coder. I will definitely be attending a coder conference again. They are held every year and occasionally are held internationally. There is a high percentage of the coder conferences that are held in America, so I look forward to attending future coder conferences. And I look forward and hope that in Australia we encourage and work with coders to come together more often. You can see here this is the sign that is new to me for coder. And I'm talking not just about interpreters that are coders, but all coders coming together and supporting each other and celebrating our upbringing as a child of deaf parents and the pride in the deaf community and our language. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. Over to you, Jen Blythe from Deaf Australia. Hello, I'm Jen, CEO of Deaf Australia. I'm here in Jeju, South Korea, and I am here for the World Federation of the Deaf Congress. Yesterday, we had a workshop where we had an opportunity to ask questions and learn about what would be involved in the General Assembly, which is being held today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will vote on a number of items, Firstly, the new deaf flag. There are three designs which have been proposed and are up for vote. The next Congress and where it will be held. There are three options, Nigeria, Norway, and the UAE. So we'll be voting on where the 2027 WFD Congress will be held. We're also voting for new WFD board members. Shirley Liu, who works for Deaf Australia, is nominated as a board member, so good luck, Shirley. I'm here with Deborah Swan, Chair of Deaf Australia, and we also have delegates for World Federation of the Deaf Youth Section. The delegates we have with us are Belle and Erin. They're currently at their workshop, and they will have their General Assembly tomorrow. They'll be voting for new Youth Section board members and where future camps will be held it's really interesting being here in this environment. There are deaf people from all over the world. And what I'm noticing is we see deaf culture all around us, but we also each have our own cultures and seeing how that intersects with each other is fascinating. A lot of international signs being used and a lot of old familiar faces and I know a lot more people than I realised. Thanks, Jen and Daniel, on your updates. I've just picked up my media pass. And tonight... The World Federation of the Deaf President, Joe, will be holding a press conference. So I'm really excited to head out there and film that press conference. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.